Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to check your ball joints, tie rods, and bearings on the front end of your beautiful Ram 1500. Jesus Murphy! It's a little bit cold this morning. I had to break out the winter jacket. Mind you, it is late October in Canada, so gotta expect it. So, safety first, you're gonna need some nice, sketchy, old, rusty, dusty, small jack stands that will probably fail and crush you. Just kidding. A nice little box of tools and some gloves for your pretty little hands. So, the best way to check front end components, specifically ball joints, on any truck that is not a solid axle front end is there needs to be weight on the control arms. There needs to be weight pushing up on the control arms when you check those ball joints. A lot of guys will get it wrong. They just put the truck up in the air and they shake the tire. A lot of guys get burned that way because you need to have weight pushing up on the control arm. It's a little bit sketchy, but it's the best way to see really if those ball joints are crap or not. So now, if you can see, what you want is you want to put your sketchy ass bottle jack underneath the lower control arm. There we go, fuck, sorry boys. All right, so we are safely off the ground and we still have pressure on the lower control arm, which still puts pressure on these ball joints, which is gonna hopefully reveal whether or not these ball joints are still good. I hope they are, because I don't wanna fix them. Uh, just another thing to point out with these Ram 1500s, the ball joints and tie rods are all non-greasable. Actually, there's nothing on the truck that is greasable. Um, now, they do this because apparently uh, non-greasable ball joints and tie rods last longer than greasable ball joint and tie rods that are not greased properly. And so I think they've come to the conclusion that most people do not grease their ball joints or tie rods enough, therefore they fail prematurely. So they've installed non-greasable ball joints. What to take away from this? If you do have greasable ball joints, tie rods, etc., make sure you grease them on a regular interval because they will last longer than these babies here. All right, so we're out from under the truck. The jack held, we didn't crush ourselves. Um, so, well, first of all, plasti dip rims. Felt like a great idea at the time. Eh, I'm so so on about it right now. Anyways, um, so wheels off the ground. Give her a good shake side to side. This will see if your tie rod has any play and we have none, so that's good. Next, you wanna give her a shake up and down. We feel no play, that's good. Now next is the key part. Get yourself a little pry bar, stick it right under the wheel, and pry up. Now if you feel any play up and down, that's the ball joint going up and down, either the upper or the lower will have some play. And if you do, you can maybe get someone to look underneath as you pry up on the wheel to see which ball joint is moving or which component is moving. So if you do think there's movement in the ball joints, what you can do is you can get someone, a little helper of yours, just to pry up on the wheel and you can look and see if there's any movement in the upper or lower ball joint. And so now we can see if my beautiful girlfriend would pry up hard enough. There you go, Chelsea. You can see that the movement... <laughs> Let's go, Chelsea! You can see that the movement, there is, you can see there is no movement in the ball joint and it's actually just moving both control arms up and down, which is exactly what we want. We have no play. Beautiful. Now, if you have play side to side or up and down and it's not the tie rod or the ball joints, what you likely have there is some bearing play. And bearings like tie rods and ball joints can wear and so you're going to want to go and replace that because it's just not good to have free playing in the bearings on your front wheel. All right, there you go. That's the uh, simple, easy way to check your front end. Make sure it's all good. Um, three things to remember here. Number one, it's cold as shit in Canada in October. Uh, number two, make sure there's weight under the lower control arm. I've seen a lot of guys get burned like that. 
Um, it's the best way to really find out if your ball joints are junk or not. And number three, if you have greasable um, ball joints, tie rods, etc., make sure they're greased because if they're not, they will prematurely fail. It's kind of self-explanatory, but just want to remind everyone. And if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up, maybe even think about subscribing. My name's Alex, and I will see you on the next video.